did decide that I wanted a little more black. So this is the file. This was the original file that I did. So this is the one that I'm going to be importing into ProRip, but I just wanted to make sure that y'all knew that I did not, I did leave some additional black in here, as you can see. So I, I use um, a Mac, so I am gonna open Parallels, and this is my ProRip right here. So I'm just going to click on my plus button right here and I'm going to, this is, you can see I have been really working on this Panda. So it's called Panda Do Over. So I'm going to open that. And I'm just going to click on this right here and get my preview. I'm going to go ahead and change my size. It is <clears throat> A4. So that's going to size it appropriately. So let me go over here and just kind of uh, put that in there like so. And now I'm going to go into, I've got it on the Uninet two-step standard as my job. And that is basically, these are, I have a lot of them, but I'm just going to go with the standard so you can see exactly how I do it. And I go over here and make sure that I'm all set here, which I am. So I'm going to click on color adjust. And, you know, I am going to, the one thing I have noticed is I really want to push that black as dark as I can get it. Because it is processed black and I really want it to be dark. I'm going to darken up the browns. Because, again, that's one of the things that I've noticed. <clears throat> When you're doing a picture on a black background, it, it, that one's tough. So I'm going to darken up uh, the browns, and that's going to be a combination of pink or magenta and yellow. I'm going to increase my saturation. And because this has a lot of white in it, I'm going to lower my white down to 170. I'm going to make my whole size 210. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go into the jobs panel. So this is the job ticket properties. I'm going to click on color layer, ink removal. And I have decided on this one that I'm going to do line. So I'm going to go down here to line. I'm going to change my frequency to 28. And my angle is going to be 67. Now the reason I'm doing 67 is because this is in portrait mode and I want the lines to be more vertical than horizontal. And I'm going to show you how I check that. So I'm just going to choose that. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose rip only. And now I'm just going to right click again and choose view raw data. And I think I have too much black, which is, was my fear. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to right click again and just release it. And I'm going to open it. So now I'm going to go up here to jobs and come all the way down here to the production plugins. Knock me black out. And that's too much black gone. So I'm going to just mess around with the sliders a little bit. Just give myself a little bit more black. I'm just playing with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my shirt color. And let's make that bigger so you guys can see. <clears throat> well, I was hoping it would let me make it bigger, but it is not. So this is really what I'm paying attention to. Go transparent again. Okay, 
so I think, again, I'm just messing with these sliders. I think I'm good with that. So I'm going to hit, let me do my shirt color one more time. Yes, I think that's good. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to let it show me what it's doing. And now I'm going to right click again and I'm going to rip only. And I'm going to right click again and choose view raw data. And I think that is going to do it. Now this is not going to be what it looks like when I print it. And I will show you guys how it looks when I print it in just a few minutes. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, well, I tell you what, let me show you printing it. So let me turn that off. I'm going to release this. And I am just going to click on here and press print. And that's going to do it. Thanks so much.